The Trump administration has installed its own operatives within the Centers for Disease Control. And they're specifically tasked with suppressing critical information meant to keep Americans safe. Now, there have been two individuals who have been hired, and they're keeping an eye on CDC Director Robert Redfield. Because can you imagine the CDC director is trying to share information about the pandemic with the American people that's meant to keep them safe? But apparently, poor Donnie boy thinks it makes him look bad. And he wants to continue downplaying how obviously severe this virus really is. So he's trying to suppress information coming from actual scientists from the CDC. The Associated Press broke this story. I recommend you guys read the full piece, it's excellent. And what they found was that the Trump White House has installed two political operatives at the nation's top public health agency to try to control the information it releases about the coronavirus pandemic as the administration seeks to paint a positive outlook. Sometimes at odds, or maybe all the time at odds with scientific evidence. So the two appointees have absolutely no public health experience, zero, none. But it doesn't matter because they're not supposed to be there to pursue public health. They're there to suppress critical information from getting out to the American people. The appointments were part of a push to get more politicals into the CDC to help control messaging after a handful of leaks were upsetting the apple cart, said a Trump administration official. So I'll give you more details on who these people are, but Waz, I wanted to get your thoughts. You know, this is in line with what President Trump has done basically from the beginning of his administration with with sort of appointments like what he did at the CFPB where I'm forgetting the guy's name, but he appointed a guy over there and I know somebody who was working over there at the time and literally when the guy got appointed, he comes in and on the first day he said, put your pens and papers down. There's no more work to be done here. And if those of you who don't know what the CFPB is, it's the Consumer Protection Financial Bureau um, and uh, you know what they were tasked with doing was holding banks accountable to consumers, right? Like going out, finding bank fraud, putting money back in normal people's hands. That was the job of this government agency. Uh, President Trump put, I think Mulvaney is his name. Uh, yes, Mick Mulvaney. Mm -hmm. Mulvaney, excuse me, Mick Mulvaney in charge. And basically they they got that agency to do the opposite of what they were supposed to do. Um, if you remember Jeff Sessions, when he yeah. got up in there, right? Um, what was he doing? It was like, uh, civil rights division, we don't really know what that is. Voting rights, uh, we don't really care to prosecute states that are, you know, blatantly violating the sovereign rights of American citizens. And just time and time again, you want to go to HUD, you want wherever you want to go, this administration is done. They appoint people. To, to, to post in order for them to sabotage the very mission statements of these agencies. And if we're being real, this is a Republican tradition going back decades. Get in power, appoint people to cabinet positions that are the opposite of what they're supposed to do. Or just straight up in direct conflict of businesses, business backgrounds that these people come from. And this is just more in line with that. Yeah, no, I love that you brought up all those specific examples. What Mick Mulvaney did to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is like beyond shameful, but he was put there specifically to do what he did. Um, he was funded heavily by payday lenders. The whole point of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was to help regulate uh, that very industry, uh, this loan shark industry that keeps preying on desperate consumers. And so, you know, you're right, you're right. The same thing is happening in the CDC. But in this case, it's all about risking the like literally risking the lives of Americans in order to make Donald Trump look good, good press. for his reelection campaign. We like campaign. good press. Anna, you, you never saw your name in Deadline or Hollywood Report and thought, I like that story. <laughs> That's all that is, it's just, it's just good press. We all love good press now. <laughs> Well, that's true. Uh, but in this case, I, <laughs> if I had to choose between good press for myself or you know saving right, as right, many lives right. as possible, but you know, you and I were like humans. We're right. compassionate humans, not sociopaths like Donald Trump. But let me give you uh, more details about these two appointments. Um, so, 
when the two appoint uh, when the two appointees showed up in Atlanta, their roles were a mystery to senior CDC staff. The people said they had not even been assigned offices. Eventually, one of them, uh, Nina Witkowski, uh, became acting chief of staff, an influential role as uh, Director Robert Redfield's uh, right hand. The other, her deputy Chester Trey Moeller, uh, also began sitting in on scientific meetings. So. Witkowski seemed a particularly strange fit, get this, for the nation's top public health agency. She studied finance and business administration in college and graduate school. And at one point worked as a publicist and talent booker for Turner Broadcasting's Cartoon Network. Oh, Great, great, the <laughs> great appointment to the CDC, that's awesome. Wow, her political work included being a an events director during the George Bush 2000 presidential campaign. As a State Department official, she developed an international engagement program for US athletes and coaches. Yeah, she sounds like she's totally qualified for this position in the CDC as thousands of Americans are dying every day from this pandemic. It's Look, crazy. I'm, I'm somebody who oftentimes on the internet will make fun of sort of credentials, liberal Twitter, where it's like, oh, I went to this school and this, this, and this, that, and I got these credentials and I'm fancy. And I, I can understand, I can sympathize with the strain of thought that's like, all right, you don't need certain credentials to work certain jobs to be in certain professions. The CDC doesn't happen to be one of them in the <laughs> middle of a global pandemic, though. Like, this is this just an extremely important job, people's actual lives and health are at risk, right? We're not talking about some fancy seat on some fancy board or at some whack ass consulting firm. This is, you know, these people are in charge of keeping people alive and healthy. This is kind of even despicable by Donald Trump standards. Yeah, it really is. Um, so the House Select Subcommittee says it's investigating these new hires, which means it'll probably go nowhere. But at least you, the American people, know what's going on. They're trying to shackle Dr. Redfield, prevent him from sharing incredibly important coronavirus information with you. And so I suggest that you know you rely on you know, fact-based, evidence-based information and advice from actual public health experts. Please wear a mask, please stay safe, please socially distance, and pretty much do the opposite of what you hear from Donald Trump at this point. Because he's a self-serving sociopathic person who clearly does not care about your safety, but certainly does care far more about increasing his chances of getting reelected. And by the way, I mean, his strategy, hasn't been so successful so far. You can't deny or, or ignore the numbers of Americans who are dying on a daily basis as a result of this pandemic and as a result of his lack of leadership and action. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.